Welcome to Sexy Saturday with me, Melanie. I decided to ask her to join me. <laughs> yeah, you saw the title, How Do You Measure Up? Is your eggplant big enough? Does size matter? So, in my research, average came across five and a half, and I had one that said 5.2 inches. So, between 5.2 and 5.5 and inches is average. So I am above average. <laughs> Not bad for an Irishman. <laughs> does, it, does it matter? Now, here's the other kicker. Only 3% of men have 7 inches or more. How much does size matter? Because I know what I, I've got some other reference points from some uh -huh. women. Um, honestly, it does not make a difference whatsoever because what's more important is do you know what you're doing? Do you care about whether your partner is enjoying herself or not? Yeah, uh, I've had the comment from one friend. Mm -hmm. She said you can have a big dick or you can have anal. You mm -hmm. can't have both. Uh, might have had back in my manho phase somebody who said, yeah, he had a huge dick, but he was lazy. Oh. He thought because he had okay. a lot that mm -hmm. it mattered, and no. Honestly, I, I don't want to throw all men with large uh, attributes under the bus, uh -huh. but I do think they tend to be a little more lazy about it. Okay. Now, have you... Mm -hmm. Ever been my turn to catch you with it? Yeah, because we didn't pre-plan this. No, but I have a feeling I know what you're about to ask. You ever? Mm -hmm. uh, what about a gherkin? You know, a little, little, <laughs> little tiny uh, one. Yes, I have. I have had that as well. Um, would you put him in the top five or the bottom of all top. lovers? Top. No question about it. And when 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 he says gherkin, I'm. Um, we're talking two and a half, maybe three inches on a super good day. We're talking a micro penis. Okay, yeah, I was being yeah, kind. I know, but, but yeah. I just wanted to be very clear for. And everyone. you would put that put that guy in the top, top five. Top five. Okay. Yeah. Now, why? Because he didn't just focus on what he could do with his penis. Yeah. If you are properly making love to a woman, first of all, you're fucking her up here yeah. first. <laughs> he was good at that, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it is about connection. It is about intimacy. It is about playing with her entire body, knowing where to kiss her back here that drives her wild. It is not just about penis and vagina no it, it that should be the smallest part of your game really yeah in some respects no pun intended there mm -hmm. no no oh, okay. okay it should be the average <laughs> part of your game slightly above average part of your game well and i think we've mentioned on this channel before how many what's the percentage of women that can orgasm from penis and vagina less than 20 percent yeah you know it's just not that common most women don't get there and Get them some orgasms before you even get to that. Uh, yeah. So that's a tip if you are uh, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> if you give her five orgasms, six orgasms, and you come quickly, nobody cares. Right. You know, so lots you can do. Guys, have a great holiday weekend. And many of you can now be feeling good that you're above average.